By request, this is Juna covering Through the Fire and Flames, Dragon Force's iconic rock song. Let's go give it a listen. Hey there. So this comes to us from Rich Z428 over at cupofcoffee.com. Thank you, Rich, for this request and for your support. And if you want to support this channel and get your request online quicker, you can do that at cupofcoffee.com or Patreon. Links are in the description box. So this is Juna at a obviously much younger age. She is currently the drummer for Haganay. And we are going to watch her cover Through the Fire and Flames. Here we go.
Wow. That was amazing. So I don't know how old she is here. In fact, I don't know how old she is currently. And that's not for lack of trying. I went all over the internet and found her day of birth, but I could not find a year of birth. I'm assuming she's pretty young here. This was like four years ago, I believe. And uh, I want to point out a couple of things. One of the hardest things, first of all, I'm not a drummer. Preface this with, I'm not, nor do I pretend to be, except maybe with a pencil or something like that, or a spoon. But in the case of hiring a drummer, auditioning drummers, that's one of the more <clears throat> difficult parts of putting together a band because drummers come in all shapes and sizes and varieties of kits and attacks and approaches to the music. Like anybody else, but there seems to be more moving parts for a drummer in spite of the fact that the kid is so static compared to a guitar or a bass. What I'm trying to say by saying all this is one of the points that you look for when you're hiring a drummer is accuracy. And what I mean by that is when a drummer is moving at high speed, they have a tendency to strike the rims uh, at drummers that are not real accurate. Now, we don't see this a lot in, in these Japanese live bands. In fact, you don't see it a lot in American live bands that are at the top of the game. But if you go to any nightclub and watch various bands, you'll see it a lot. Uh, it, and it has to do with an, any number of things. You know, just a mistake in targeting or a bad stage setup where the drummer is pushed right up against their drums or in an unfamiliar position. So my point is, is that accuracy is very important. And when you double that with the fact that I don't know what the BPM on through the fire and flames is I've forgotten but it's very high and the fact that she does not miss a single strike whether it's cymbals hi-hat or tom snares it, snare it doesn't matter and here's a nice exchange from about 40 to about I don't know 60 so seconds so let's try this right here and see what she does <laughs> Now this song is so fast that sometimes you really have to watch to see her making a single strike on one of the upper toms or on the floor tom because she works that snare really hard. Let me see if we can find another spot here. Let's try it about 140. <laughs> now, did you see that? How many times did she roll across there? Three? Super high speed. <laughs> So her accuracy is evident, especially in the fact she doesn't even have to look. And this is what a drummer, I'm assuming, needs to do. They need to get their kit set where they like it and then play it the same way every time. I know I feel that way about my guitar or when I play bass. I like for the setup to be the same. You know, there's no surprises. Accuracy is everything. I'd rather be a slower player and accurate than be a high-speed player that's banging off the rims and, and missing symbols and that kind of thing. And I've seen it plenty of times, believe you me. And it's only because, like all musicians, you get so focused on, on learning a song or writing a song and then executing it that sometimes the more finer points of what you're doing escape you until somebody points it out and says, hey, you know, that's not 
super accurate there or that's not very clear it you know it's not i i can't hear it you're not articulating that that movement very well she articulates perfectly on these drums in such a high speed environment she's not missing anything this is why i like to watch uh i think her name is cena uh i i love watching her channel when she does all these covers or when she does interesting original work because drummers fascinate me the super high energy that they have to put out and when they you know we would go into nightclubs and do four hours a night that's not counting setup time that's not counting in between breaks you know say you're in a super hot nightclub and you're sweating your clothes are sticking to you you step outside in the cool air 15 minutes later, you come back in. What do you think you feel like? You got to fire up again. And you do that three or four times through the night. And then it's one in the morning and you're playing your final song. And you've still got two hours ahead of you of tearing down equipment, moving it back to your studio, unloading your vehicles, getting home, trying to unwind and go to sleep, which is why you find musicians getting out of bed at noon or one o'clock. So... A drummer, I have always felt like, has to be this super high energy person, like Pow of The Warning or Arupa of Love Bites. I mean, these these women are absolutely amazing to me, and she is no different. Juna is just all over this kit. <laughs> So I was very impressed, as you can tell. And I try to point out some of these things to you because as as I've said on my channel, it's on my homepage, I'm just an average musician, an average singer, average guitarist. That's it. And I, and I played years ago. I come at this from a performance perspective, and that is what are you dealing with when you're playing? You know, what kind of things try to get in your way or what things aid you when you're playing? What kind of preparation do you have to do to do this kind of thing? These are the things that I try to focus on. You know, stage presence, stage awareness, you know, situational awareness on the stage, th these kinds of things so that we can better understand how hard musicians are working to get to where they get. So anyway, she's amazing. And this was four years ago. So I can't wait to see some more work at out of her um thank you rich this was really really a lot of fun i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the way out that helps me out a lot and i appreciate you being here watching this with me and i'll talk to you later all right bye now